hills of the Pennines. In Leeds, my mate Stan's been out, flat cap, whip it, and he's sorted it out and all the pub crawl either side of the River Air, which went through Leeds, you know. He's picked us out 12 pubs. <laughs> this is pub five, so we're a little bit out of sequence. We come to the home of Leeds Brewing, which is Tetley. And we're gonna hopefully have a nice pint of original cast. It'd be a great place to bring the dog. Who used to bring Callie out? Uh, she used to love diving in the river, uh, but she got, kept on getting attacked by the ducks, which is a shame, but it's my own fault for having a purebred dog, I suppose. Uh, but we're gonna get in here, have a lovely pint of Tetley's. Second pub, Lamb and Flag, we've got Leach Brewery Pale. It's about three and a half percent. This is an old set of 18th century houses, it's all been like chiseled in together. It's a bit gastro pub inside, so we're, we're outside in the rain. Cheers. It's light, it's smooth, but given we've got 12 pubs to go through, that'll probably see us through another couple. Uh, <laughs> it's about four and a half quid, so it's a bit pricey. On to the next one. Cheers. North Broom Bar, we've got a pint of the Square Ball, 4.5% California Pale Ale. Looks nice and hazy, looks pretty good. Pretty lively in here, cheers. Oh, that's really great fruity, really refreshing. It's pretty lively in here, got a nice bit of a uh, Steelers wheel going on in the background, checking out Bayo Buns. Pub 3, going pretty well. Here's the next one. Cheers. Welcome to Tetley's. We've got a pint of Tetley's original cask. Lee's Institution set up here in 1822. Funny fact, Tetley that set up this brewery in 1822 is completely different to the Tetley that set up Tetley Tea also in 1822. Sounds like one of them uh, split their personality for tax reasons. Uh, but this is their original cask bitter. Give us a try. Cheers. Lovely light biscuity, tiny like 3.7%, I think. Proper all day session ale. And what I like about it is that up north, so you have a proper sprinkler on your beer. So get to the swan neck at the bottom, give it a proper pull, and get a nice big, thick carbon dioxide head on your foot. It makes the rest of it nice and sweet and smooth. So this tastes superb. It's a bit of an art gallery. There's a wedding going on, so it's a little bit weird. Uh, but I had to come to the home of Telly's. Find it superb. Cheers. Welcome to Northern Monk, Lee's Institution, fresh from the north, and we're on a pint of Yorkshire Till I Die, English IPA. Really, really funky place, old flax store, which I think is just like an old type of Swede. I don't know which that must be a grade two, grade one listed building that they converted. This smells pretty nice, bit of orange, bit of pepper, let's give me a try. Cheers. Loads of it. Super fresh, really tasty. Understated orange, but you get a nice bit of pepper hit in the background. Six quid, I think, for a pint, which is pretty good. Really, really funky place. Loads of people going on in there. We'll probably stay there for three or two. This is pub six, six, seven. I don't know, but it's definitely going to have more than one pint. Cheers.
in the middle of the midnight bell. And we come here because Lee's Brewery do a specific beer for this called the Midnight Bell, which is an old school English sort of dark ale. 4.8% so we're going up there. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Mm. 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 Oh, that's lovely. Really dark, creamy, smooth, really, really sweet. Classic old school of English now, it's a nice little bit of fitness in the background. This place is absolutely rampant, people. This is pub. I don't know, I love fucking pubs. But it's going well. This is a lovely, lovely beer. And it's only going up from here. Cheers. Welcome to Salt, proper old school East Brewery. This is the beer that I really identified with. It. This is Puckerback, five and a half percent English, like easy IPA. Uh, this in Tesco, Sainsbury's, Wally beer. The cheers. It's cold and smooth, lovely and tropical. They've got a really weird, like, falafel place over the back. They've got loads of their own beers. Really, really quality beer. It's the only place I realised that um, Birmingham has a rotunda. And I thought that was, like, a design that was, like, just, like, to the dirt. Whereas Leeds have built a new one. And they got sold down at the bottom of it. Good bar. Plenty of people in here joining the beers. Uh, back is absolutely excellent. I'm going to try the falafel in a minute. I, I don't even know what pub this is, what number this pub is, but we're in Willocks or the uh, Turkhead. It's a nice beer. Jesus. Everything's gone on. Oh man. We're just trying to carry it along. Let's, let's. I think this is a. Uh, a bit of a New England IPA for the um, Willocks and the uh, Tuck's Head. Amazing sort of like uh, outside area. Everyone just like sat, sat about having a chat. Absolutely superb. Inside. All the beers that you want. Do you want them? Let's give this a go. Cheers. Loads of Loads of classic New England IPA. It's tropical, it's like nice and like zing. It's going to come out of Leeds. Willox has been here since 1715, so come here if you like. Come here if you like. Absolutely super place. Come. The outside place, Tuck's Head, and uh, Willox is really, really good. Oh man, I've got no idea what, what beer we're on. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last one. <laughs> Cheers.